Hello, my sweets. Welcome back to Theater Meets DIY. This is Helen. So before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for the overwhelming response and the beautiful comments that you guys have left me on my previous video that I did using those Dollar Tree pens to make the sconces and the chandelier. I'm so, so happy and I'm so glad that I can continue to inspire you guys. So today I'm going to do something a little different. I like to, or something simple. I like to mix it up for you guys. Uh, and it's a different take on that previous video that I did on that starburst mirror. As you can see, these are the different mirrors that Dollar Tree carries. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same one that I used on that previous video, just cause I had it on hand. But again, just think that you can use any of them. If you haven't seen that video, again, I will link it down below. So here's that mirror. Um, you know, I just had it on hand and I went ahead and I spray painted one of them black with this Walmart brand. It's like a flat black paint. But again, guys, you can spray paint these mirrors any color that uh, you want. And I went ahead and did one in my favorite silver, which is a bright coat metallic finish. You can also find this at Walmart. So you're going to need some of these plaques. These are by the brand Art Minds, and I got these at Michael's a while back. I know that they still carry them, but Dollar Tree has since started to carry something similar. You're also gonna need a dowel, uh, a size of your choice. I'm gonna cut this one in half. This one is 36 inches, and the width I think is a 5 6 5 16 of an inch. And we're gonna go ahead and use these acrylic gems from the Dollar Tree and the smaller ones you can find at any of the craft stores, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and follow that same pattern that I did uh, when I did the Starburst mirror. And basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the acrylic gems every other crease of the mirror, as you can see here. And I'm gonna go around in that pattern. But again, just remember that I'm just here to give you guys ideas and inspiration. You can go ahead and create whatever pattern you want. You can mix and match the uh, gems. You can use any, you know, you can use pearls, any kind of other stone, anything that you want to use, you guys. I really do love the way black looks against anything mirror or acrylic diamond gems. I think it's so, so elegant. And so this is what it's looking like so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use those smaller uh, acrylic diamonds. Like I said, you can find these at any of the craft stores. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply them in the same pattern that I did that starburst mirror that I created. But again, you can place them however which way you can add more if you like. It's all entirely up to you. Coming up, I'm gonna show you how I use a Dollar Tree diamond strand stickers I decided that I was gonna go with that look just because I've already created this one so I'm gonna try this out and I think it looks beautiful but again I'm placing them here as you can see and um, you can mix the match like I said even with the gems if that's what you want to go for give it a different look and um, but as we go further along you'll see that I stuck to this look. So in the end, I'm going to show you both the black and the silver uh, mirrors, uh, both of them, how they turned out. But now we're gonna move on in the meantime to the silver one. So again, I'm going to use this beautiful rose gold um, rhinestone wrap and this beautiful uh, flower shaped one. They are absolutely gorgeous and you get a lot for your money. I will definitely go ahead and link these down for you down below in case you are interested. So what I did is that I just cut a strand and I'm gonna place it all around. Guys, and remember, if you are enjoying this video as well, please give me those thumbs up. Uh, I saw how many thumbs up you guys gave me for that previous video and I was so happy. It definitely helps my uh, videos out. And it just keeps me motivated to continue to bring you guys different ideas. Like I said, um, I like to mix it up for you guys. Uh, never the same thing. So if you want to see more, keep those uh, thumbs up coming. And share these videos with my friends and family as well. I would really appreciate it. So I went ahead and beforehand and I, I pre-cut some strands to fit into those little creases there. And again, this is my take on it, uh, what I did. Now when I was gluing this, I had my hot glue gun on low 
and I realized that they weren't sticking. So what I recommend that you do is that you um, put your hot glue gun on high or you can leave it on low but then use the um, E6000 or your Gorilla Glue or your Fix All from the Dollar Tree. Use your strongest adhesive guys and as much as possible whenever you do these um, DIYs because that's just going to ensure that things are just going to stay in place long term. Alright, so you're going to need a drill bit that's kind of like the same width as your dowel. Like I said, this was 15, 5 16 wide. You want to go ahead and definitely use some wood glue or some strong adhesive to hold that in place. I'm using these styrofoam uh, circles that come two in a pack from Dollar Tree. Obviously, I'm going to use one for each mirror. You want to go ahead and place your strongest glue with your hot glue on those raised parts of the back of the mirror as you see here. And then once you glue that on, go ahead and reinforce that again and apply more glue to those areas just to ensure that that's not going to go anywhere because that's where you're going to insert your dowel. And I'm sorry that I lost a clip of me inserting the dowel, but you can kind of figure that out. You just carefully and slowly insert that dowel through the bottom of the styrofoam round there. So here I'm just embellishing the bottom. This is just my take on it. I was just using what I had on hand. You can definitely decorate this any which way you want. Um, you can place a mirror on that plaque that fits the size and then glue the dowel on top. That's a different look. Or you can take some mirror tiles, square mosaic uh, tiles and glue them in the bottom. However which way you want to do it. So now I went ahead. Oh, also too, you can go ahead and spray paint that uh, styrofoam round to black or any color you want but i i didn't bother it's, it's in the back and no one's really going to see it go ahead and glue your light make sure it's facing outward so that you can have access to replacing your batteries right now you see that i used one light but in the end i don't show it but i ended up using placing two lights back there just to give it more of a you know that the light illuminates more this is another type of dollar tree light that i found one time they might still have it I ended up mixing the fairy lights with these ones and I was just tucking them in discreetly so no one because that's another option for you guys but yeah I ended up using two so here is what it's looking like I absolutely love the way that this turned out this is something that you can place on a bookshelf just to give you some ideas you can place it on a coffee table on top of some books there goes that starburst mirror you guys the camera doesn't do it justice so please go check out that video because that mirror really turned out absolutely beautiful but again um this will look great like i said a bookshelf a coffee table stacked up you know, over some books you can uh, put it in a desk in an office a credenza um maybe even on one of your nightstands next to your bed i mean it's just so my oh, that's mr llama there you guys that little teddy llama i asked my daughter if she can help me decorate that area and that's what she came up with she wanted to include her llama so yeah we gotta name him what do you think um i was thinking of leo llama so yeah he made the video anyway um this is the other take on the silver and the rose gold oh my gosh i love this one so much I think it's beautiful so so beautiful um, and it looks like I said with the lights when you dim the lights the lights in the back it just gives that extra something I just love it um, I never thought that rose gold and silver would go well together but they absolutely do and again I don't think the camera is doing it justice in person it's just glistens and it's so glitzy glam and it's so so pretty um, so again, let me know if you would decide to recreate this and if you do, where would you put it in your home and what color would you paint the mirrors? Would you do it this way? What would you do? I really recommend you order these rose gold because they're just so beautiful and a little different than your typical, uh, bling wrap. Um, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel today, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And for those that continue to follow me, well, you already know how I feel about you guys. I love you so, so much and your continued support. So again, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you like this video. Let me know if you're going to recreate this and give me some ideas. What would you do with this? Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon, you guys, on the next one. Bye, everyone.